This game was originally due to be played on St. Valentine's Day, but a waterlogged Ravenhill pitch meant the game was rescheduled. Scarlets travelled to Belfast off the back of three successive Rabo Direct Pro 12 wins and looking to do the double over Ulster for the first time since the 08-09 season. Having beaten Munster in their last game, the Welsh men were looking for another Irish scalp. But it wouldn't be easy against an Ulster team unbeaten at home since round one of this season's campaign and starting the evening third in the table. The big news for the Ravenhill faithful was the return to the bench after 15 months absence through injury of Irish international Stephen Ferris. The prodigal Nick Williams was back and Paddy Jackson returned having been released by the international squad. Ulster controlled the game early on and their pressure paid off in the 16th minute with a Paddy Jackson production. Written, produced and directed by the out-half who kicked ahead and with a little help from Alad Thomas who completely fluffed his lines and Jackson was able to take advantage to run over for the opening score of the night. Jackson fortunate that Thomas coughed the ball up but alert enough to capitalise. Rue and Pienaar converted to make it 7-0 to the men in white. Great start for Mark Anscombe's men, and it was to get better. 7-0 became 14-0 within two minutes, a beautifully constructed score, with Pienaar passing quickly to Jackson, who made the break before handing the try on a plate to Bo, who sprinted over for his third try in two games. A lovely score for the Ulster men, and it left Pienaar the easiest task with a conversion for 14 points to no score inside the first quarter of the game. Ollie Barkley landed a 33rd minute penalty to get Scarlets on the scoreboard and that made it 14 points to 3. But it was a brief respite for the visitors who found themselves on the receiving end of another well-constructed Ulster try a minute later. Bo with an incisive run before picking a lovely pass to Jackson returning the favour and the out half was in for his second and Ulster's third try of the game. A timely reminder from Jackson to international boss Joe Schmidt. The Bo-Jackson combo paying rich dividends for the home side with great interplay from the international colleagues. Pienaar converted once more and it was 21-3 five minutes before the break. But there was still time for Scarlets to strike and the league's leading try scorer Gareth Davies takes much of the credit. The Welsh men did extremely well to turn the ball over in Ulster territory and Davies used his speed to outpace Pienaar and get the touchdown for his eighth try of the league campaign. Great work from Scarlets at the breakdown and great invention from the scrum half. Barkley converted and it was 21-10 and that was the half-time score. After the break, Pienaar had two chances to extend Ulster's lead, but on both occasions his kicks slipped wide. And then just past the hour mark, another Barkley penalty brought Scarlets back to within eight points, 21-13. Shortly after that, Ferris made his entrance after a year and a quarter's absence to a huge Ravenhill ovation. And he immediately showed them what they'd been missing. The man from Porterdown, keen to put a nightmare year behind him and showing no ill effects on this evidence. The second half had been fairly low-key compared to the first, but right at the end, Ulster clinched the bonus point with a try from close range. With Ulster peppering the Scarlet's line, it looked like the Welsh men might have held out but the canny Tom Court forced his way over for the score. The referee, Neil Hennessy, went to the TMO for confirmation and was told that he could award the try. A decision that guaranteed the bonus, and although Jackson missed the conversion, it was irrelevant as the job was done for Mark Anscombe's men. 
So Ulster remained third in the table, but significantly just four points off topside Leinster. Scarlets came close to at least a losing bonus, but it wasn't to be. Simon Easterby's men face Glasgow next time out. Final score at Ravenhill. Ulster 26, Scarlets 13.